Well, nowhere in South Florida does today's news strike a nerve more than in Parkland. Tonight, we spoke with parents who lost their children in the massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas to get their insight on this terrible problem that continues to plague America. CBS 4's Francis Wang continues our team coverage from Fort Lauderdale. Francis. Hey, Lauren Elliott, obviously every time a horrible tragedy like this happened, the parents affected by the Parkland shooting, it's tough for them to talk about, but they do talk about it because they want change and they want other families to not go through this anymore. As much as we work every day, as much as we have not stopped since February 14th, uh, almost four years ago, um, it's not enough. Powerful I, words I, from I, um, Joaquin Oliver's father, Manny, I, following yet another school shooting, this one in Michigan. It's our culture, it's letting these happen. Yeah, it's, 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 we, this is our normal. Other nations don't deal with this. It's a problem he now feels even more strongly about, especially with gun control. There's a lot of kids suffering that same illness in many other countries, but they don't have access to guns. So don't blame it on mental health. Only winner today is the gun industry. Alyssa's mom and Broward School Board member Lori Oladef feels bullying also needs to be addressed. If we see something, we need to say something. Students just went through COVID, social, social isolation, and now we're back at school. And there's a lot of mental effects that happened during that time when they were isolated. Michigan's governor called the shooting every parent's worst nightmare. It's a nightmare Manny and Lori both have lived for the past four years. My heart goes out to the families of the three children that were killed today. I know what that pain feels like. I am sad for those families. Um, but you know what? I am also upset and sad and concerned about those families that will lose someone tomorrow and after tomorrow. And that's really what should be bothering all of us. The fact that this, we all know, will happen again. Some tough words there uh, from Manny Oliver. He also talked about how every time a tragedy like this happens, our nation's leaders say that their hearts are with the families, but he wants more than thoughts and prayers. He said he wants action and real change. Live in Fort Lauderdale tonight, I'm Francis Wang, CBS 4 News.